Yuju? Could you help me? Help with what? I want to apologize to Yin. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. And actually, I like her. I knew it. You knew? How did you guess that? You've been bothering and bullying her just to get her attention, right? So when she stopped caring about you, you started feeling restless and uneasy. Jungkook remained silent, completely caught this time in front of Yuju, but Yuju eventually reassured him. All right, I support you. At least there will be someone to protect her. She's been alone in this world all this time. Jungkook's eyes softened upon hearing Yuju's words, and he immediately thanked her. Thank you, Yuju. Yin is lying on her bed. It's still afternoon, but her body feels exhausted. Lately, she has been constantly thinking about Jungkook, and the pain in her heart is palpable. Upon hearing what he said, her eyes start to well up with tears. I know no one loves me. No one cares for me but you don't have to say it so bluntly like that. Her eyes start to feel heavy. She wants to rest for a while to calm her mind. But suddenly, Yin sits up when she hears the sound of the door being knocked. With unsteady steps, she approaches the door to open it. Instantly, her face lights up with joy when she sees her mother standing in front of her. Mom, you finally came. As Yin moves to hug her mother, her mother quickly pushes her away. Ah, no need for hugs. I just came to drop off this money for your monthly expenses. All right, I'm leaving now. After receiving the envelope from her mother, Yin tries to hold her mother's hand. Mom, won't you come in for a while? I miss you so much. Her mother immediately jerks her hand away harshly. Enough with the coddling. Be thankful I'm still providing for all your needs. Don't ask for more. I don't want my husband to get angry because I spent too much time with you. Her mother then leaves, leaving Yin standing there, stunned. Her heart is shattered after hearing her mother's words, but she can't do anything more. She stares at the thick envelope her mother gave her and smiles sadly. Finally, she closes the door again. She places the thick envelope into her drawer. She is left alone because her mother refuses to stay with her. This is because she is the product of her mother's affair with another man. What's worse, the man her mother had an affair with, who is supposed to be her father, also refuses to acknowledge her as his daughter. He continues to deny it. Meanwhile, her mother chooses to stay with her husband, on the condition that Yin cannot live with them. When she was a child, she was taken care of by a caregiver whom she considered to be her mother, paid for by her mother before the caregiver passed away due to old age. In school, Yin's days have undergone a change, she's no longer bothered by Jungkook as before. Both Jungkook and Yin now keep their distance from each other. Actually, Jungkook has been eager to talk to her, but seeing Yin's emotional state, he decides to give her some space. He doesn't want to escalate her anger further, so he decides to wait a little longer until her emotions have calmed down a bit before approaching her to talk. Several days later, Yin had just returned from school. She began to tidy herself up. She glanced at the date on the calendar and smiled sadly. Looks like my birthday will pass by unnoticed once again. Yes, it had been several years since her caregiver passed away and Yin had never celebrated her birthday since then. It's not that she didn't want to buy a cake and celebrate it herself, but celebrating her birthday alone only made the supposedly happy occasion even sadder, so she tried her best to forget about this special day in her life. Now she regarded each birthday as just another ordinary day, nothing special at all. But suddenly, Yin furrowed her brows. Was it her mother again? Yin went straight to the door. As she opened it, she was surprised to see Yuju standing there. Surprise. But that wasn't the only surprise. What shocked Yin even more was seeing Jungkook next to Yuju, holding a birthday cake and smiling gently at her. Happy birthday to you. Yin couldn't believe her eyes. She was so surprised that she was left speechless, not knowing what to say. Why are you here? But before that, it's better if you make a wish and blow out this candle. Yin struggled to swallow her saliva. She had never heard Jungkook speak so softly to her before. She glanced at Yuju, who nodded her head. Then she blew out the candle on the cake held by Jungkook. Yin, forgive me. Yin widened her eyes when she heard those solemn words from his mouth. What did you just say? Forgive me. I know everything I did was wrong. Please forgive me. I truly am sorry. Yin was still in shock. She never expected to hear multiple apologies from him without any hint of pride. Why are you suddenly apologizing to me? What else are you planning this time? Jungkook quickly shook his head and took a deep breath. No, I'm not planning anything. I genuinely apologize to you. You can ask Yuju about it. Yin immediately looked at Yuju, wanting to hear an explanation from her trusted friend. Is that true, Yuju? Yuju nodded eagerly, a wide smile adorning her face. Don't worry, I've tested his sincerity. From now on, he won't make you upset again. Yin looked back at Jungkook who had been staring at her intensely. All right, 
I'll trust you because Yuju trusts you too. At least Yuju wouldn't assist you if you had ill intentions toward me. Jungkook smiled widely upon hearing this. He really wanted to hug the girl in front of him now, but he had to control himself as much as possible. From now on, I want to be one of the people who can protect you, Yin. They all remained stunned, standing at the door, until there was a cough from Yuju. Are we not allowed to come in? Honestly, I can't wait to enjoy this cake. Who's the birthday celebrant here? You or Yin? Why are you the one so eager to eat the cake? Because you bought the cake, so you should just let Yin eat it, can't I? Of course you can, we'll all eat it together. Because I want to as well. Yin continued to smile, watching their interaction. Suddenly, the room felt warmer and livelier with both of them present on her birthday. Come on in, I'll prepare some food and drinks for you. Finally, the three of them sat in the rather cramped room. Jungkook placed the cake on the table while Yin grabbed a knife to cut it. She also prepared some drinks and snacks for her to guests, who were now precious to her. After a few minutes of enjoying the cake and drinks, Yin offered something else. Do you want to have some dim sum? I have plenty in the fridge. Jungkook smiled faintly upon hearing that, feeling relieved that Yin accepted what he bought as her frozen food stock. Then for a few seconds, Jungkook's and Yin's gazes met, and they both smiled faintly. I do. Hum. I want the dim sum. I want some too. Alright, I'll get it ready for you. Yin immediately steamed some pieces of dim sum for them to enjoy together. Today, the room that usually felt so cold and lonely now felt warmer and more alive. In the room, there was laughter and joy, unlike the usual sound of tears. Deep down, Yin wished for someone who could bring warmth to her life like this. Unconsciously, she began to hope for someone, but she didn't know who could fill the void in her heart and bring smiles and laughter like what she was experiencing now. After that apology, Jungkook's behavior towards Yin truly changed. Yin was initially uncomfortable with the sudden change, but as time went on, she started to get used to it. Jungkook never teased her anymore, and now all there were were friendly greetings, which made their classmates look surprised and wary. However, many among them had suspected all along that Jungkook secretly liked her. It seemed that some of their classmates were quite perceptive in noticing his behavior towards Yin. Even though he seemed to enjoy teasing her, the fact remained that Yin was the only girl he ever teased. Naturally, this led to a different perception from their classmates, who believed that Yin was the only one who managed to catch his attention. Not only that, Jungkook also started calling Yin frequently, almost every night, as if he didn't want Yin to feel lonely living on her own. Right now, Yin was working on their biology homework for tomorrow's schedule, but suddenly her phone vibrated. Seeing Jungkook's name on the screen, Yin immediately answered without hesitation. Hi, Jungkook, what's up? What are you doing right now? Am I bothering you? Just working on my biology assignment. Are you done with yours? Oh, I'm already done. Great. Can I ask about question number three? I'm a bit confused with this one. The question goes like this. Yin listened attentively to his explanation. This was something they often did every night. Besides discussing each other's news, they usually studied together and compared answers for the homework due tomorrow. Yin couldn't believe it sometimes. She often wondered how she become this close to him, the person who used to disturb her life. But now they were so close that his sweet gestures sometimes made them look like a couple. A couple? Is that even possible? Honestly, her feelings were a bit chaotic right now. She felt comfortable with him. How could she not, when his attention and gentle behavior made her hope for more from him? She felt unprepared if Jungkook would keep his distance or drift away from her one day. The affection that Yin never received from her parents made her heart easily touched by what Jungkook had been doing lately. She felt like there was someone who could love her when her parents couldn't. The next morning, as usual, this was the umpteenth time Jungkook had come to pick up Yin to go to school together. He went to Yin's unit with a smile on his face. He squinted as he saw Yin talking to a middle-aged woman. It turned out that Yin was talking to her mother. However, it didn't seem like a good conversation judging by their expressions. Mom, why can't you just look at me for a moment? Is it that hard to do? I'm your child. Yin, don't ask for too much. It's lucky enough that I'm willing to give you money to take care of you, just so you know. I don't want you here at all. You were born only because of an accident. Your father hasn't shown up until now. Yin looked incredulously at her mother's words. How could a mother speak so harshly to her child? Who's the one who caused me to be here? Why do you blame me? You're the ones at fault. You dare raise your voice at me, huh? As her mother was about to slap her, Jungkook quickly grabbed her hand. This action surprised Yin who looked at Jungkook in astonishment. Aren't you her mother? How could you almost hit your daughter? Who are you? Don't interfere in our affairs. Jungkook walked towards Yin and wrapped his arm around her shoulder. I'm her boyfriend. Yin widened her eyes as she looked at him. Meanwhile, her mother looked at him disdainfully, 
sizing him up from head to toe, as if judging his appearance. Huh. So you already have a boyfriend. Then I don't need to see you here anymore. Your boyfriend can take care of you from now on. Starting tomorrow, your monthly allowance will just be transferred to your bank account. No need for me to bring it here anymore. Her mother immediately left in front of them. Yin looked on with a disappointed expression, tears streaming down her face. Jungkook, seeing this, immediately hugged her tightly. Shh, it's okay. I'll take their place to protect you. Trust me. Yin returned to Jungkook's embrace tightly. Her tears flowed even more, wetting his shirt. Thank you, Jungkook. Jungkook just nodded, continuing to hug her and stroke her head. Then he glanced at his watch which showed it was already 9 a.m. It was pointless to go to school now. They were already late and they wouldn't be allowed to enter the school gates. It's already 9 o'clock. We don't need to go to school today. We won't be given the chance to enter. Yin slowly released herself from his embrace and now looked up to meet his gaze. I'm sorry. We can't go to school because of the incident this morning. Jungkook smiled faintly, looking at her face, still streaked with tears. His hands finally touched her cheeks, wiping away the remaining tears. It's okay. I'm also not in the mood to go to school. Hum. How long will I be left standing here? Am I not allowed to come in? Hearing this, Yin immediately smiled and lightly punched his chest. Of course you can. Come on in. Now, Jungkook finally entered the house and sat on the sofa. What would you like to drink? Let me make it for you. Do you have hot chocolate? Yes. Do you want that? Yes. That's fine. Yin immediately made hot chocolate as Jungkook requested. After finishing, she served it in front of him, who then started drinking it. A tense atmosphere began to settle between them now that it was just the two of them. While Jungkook had entered before because of Yuju, now they were alone and the atmosphere felt different. But something made him curious. He wanted to know more clearly what had happened with her. He asked Yin if she was comfortable sharing. Yin, can I know what happened with you? I won't force you if you're uncomfortable telling me. It's okay, I'll tell you. Now, Jungkook wanted to know what had happened in her life all this time. Yin began to tell him in detail, and yesterday he was quite surprised by what he had learned through Yuju. But hearing the story in more detail from Yin directly made him even more surprised. That's what happened. My mother doesn't want to accept me because her husband doesn't accept my presence. I am the result of my mother's affair with a man, so her husband hates me. But all this time, every month, she still gives me pocket money for my living expenses and needs. As for my biological father, no one knows where he is now. But it's clear that he doesn't acknowledge that I am his child. He thinks I'm my mother's and her current husband's child, while my mother's husband thinks I'm my mother's and the man she had an affair with. So they both discarded me, no one wants to acknowledge me as their child. Jungkook sighed softly as he listened to all that she explained. Finally, his hand slowly began to hold hers, trying to provide comfort to this girl. Let them be. Believe me, you can still live without them. Show them that you can succeed without them. Show them that you can stay strong even without them. Hearing what Jungkook said made her happy, but for some reason, she also felt like crying. Honestly, she had almost given up before this. She often felt that life was quite difficult for her, being all alone. I also want that Jungkook. But I can't deny that sometimes I feel very tired and weak to face all this. Don't worry, if you've been facing it alone all this time. Now the difference is that I'm here with you. I promise, from now on, it will feel lighter. Because I will always be by your side and will always support you. Thank you, Jungkook. Jungkook immediately hugged her. Then he kissed her forehead for a long time. He felt a deep regret for mistreating her all this time. Forgive me. Forgive me. I should have confessed my feelings long ago instead of always teasing you. Yin was surprised to hear his confession. She immediately lifted her head to see his face. So you've liked me all this time? Jungkook blushed. But there was no point in denying it anymore. Yes, actually. Still in his embrace, her hand immediately pinched his chest quite hard, causing him to wince in pain. But he allowed her to do it without avoiding it at all. This is payback for you teasing me all this time. Unable to bear it anymore, Jungkook finally grabbed her hand, which was currently pinching his chest. Now the pinch was released while her hand was still held by him. I'm sorry for teasing you all this time. And let me make up for my mistake. I will make you happy with me, baby. Jungkook finally landed his kiss on her lips, kissing the lips of the girl he had secretly admired for so long. Yin welcomed his kiss while he deepened their kiss. Now Jungkook's kiss moved to her cheeks, kissing them alternately before moving to her ears and down to her neck, sucking it firmly. I've given you a mark. Now you truly belong to me. This mark will fade in a few days. If it fades, I'll make it again. And if it fades again, then I'll keep making it. So every time you look in the mirror, you'll always remember me. Yin giggled softly, 
hearing what he said to her. She didn't expect that a guy like Jungkook, who seemed like a bad boy all this time, actually had a sweet side too. And, it was just for her.